Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, so we are in our journey to test out Cyber Defense Pro, and in this one, we're pretty much um, examining a forensic drive image. Um, and here's the scenario if you read it, I hope you can read at this point. And we're going to be working with autopsy. So all we got to do is check in a U. Okay, and as we know, um, we need to create a case. So new case. And as always, test out is infamous for principle of least privilege. So we have to do it by the book. Um, so corp at dash case 132. And these names may be different than yours. Um, as a lot of times from the things change up. Okay, so we need to browse because that's what they want us to do, but technically you could just type in a folder, so. And as you see, we could have just typed that, but. So let's click next. And we want to put the case number 132. And today my name is going to be Squishy. And my phone number is 222-222-2222. And my uncle email, we're just going to do test out, 22 at gmail.com. And then click finish. And what we want to do is click, make sure that is selected because we're doing a disk image for a VM file. Okay, so now we are going to import the disk image. Um, so Technically, we could uh, take this in, but it doesn't work that way. We'll test out, so let us go over here. And as you see, we have the Office 1 underscore HD VHD, which we need to open. And don't worry about any of this for now. And we are going to deselect all those. And these are the modules we are going to need to select as recent activities, hash lookup, file identification, parser, and keyword. Okay. Let's click next and finish. Okay, now let's see what our questions are based on the number of files in the user's folder, which user has been primary user on this computer. Let's see, let's go to data sources, volume two users and as you can see David it looks like okay I got rid of that <laughs> so let's answer that one David and based on the titles of the files in the PDF folder what criminal activity is the user pursuing? There's several ways we can find this information out. Okay, we could go under David, app data documents, and 
And as you can see, it's right there. But we can also go to that page in this. Result. Extract content. We want to see views as well, and you can go by file type. And application. And here's the PDF, so doc mapping, doc mapping. So let's answer that question. Doc mapping. Based on the contents of the JPEG folder, what would be the user's favorite photo subject? Okay. And a couple ways we can see this one as well is to images, JPEG. They want you to look at the application data, but if you click on thumbnails, you can see them all, and majority of them are dogs. So that answers that question. Um, Based on the web cookies and web history, which websites has the user been frequenting? Um, okay, so this is the cookies, web history. Oops, I should probably. Move this over just a little bit for a second. Let's go back on table index. Okay, dog wonder. Oops. Dog clock. I saw another one. Okay, Doc Pharmacy. Okay, here's that. Enter one of the email addresses that have been corresponding with this person. Let's minimize and here it is. Email addresses. Let's click on that. On that, and as you can see, let's just put ice dog at Yahoo. And there's other ways you can go about getting all this information. Multiple. Um, so ice dog, at yahoo.com. And then we are going to go back over here. Keyword hits and URLs. Let's see. And these are ones that most frequently miss. Okay, duck on it and rover dot com. I think that's it. 
and I think we answered all of our questions. So score and we pass. Thank you to the test out guys. And I will see you in a few minutes.